Ladies and gentlemen, I have a funny feeling that all of you saw this one coming after I've played two other PopCap games and quite literally talked about playing this <laughs> later in the week. This is Plants vs. Zombies, the Game of the Year edition this game released. Um, after all of the other PopCap games, this was really... Frankly, this was the game that killed uh, PopCap games, is, is the harsh reality. Um, this was the game that made... EA buy PopCap and then basically bankrupt <laughs> PopCap games um, because of how successful this game was and for good reason. It's incredible. Uh, it's a little little tower defense game where you're placing plants to defeat zombies. It's very simple. I actually have a full playthrough of this on my channel already, um, which makes this a little bit of a weird, weird video to make because believe it or not, Steam actually kept my, my save from like six or seven years ago <laughs> when I recorded this. Um, so I have achievements in the game. Like, I, I've completed the game all the way through. You'll see that I'm on 1-1. One, one. Uh, this is because I'm now in the second adventure um, where Crazy Dave picked some of my plants for me and you, you can go again. So we'll just play a couple rounds today. It's, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to see how you get to this point, um, you can go watch high-pitched voice Tyler from seven years ago play Plants vs. Zombies. It's just that simple. Um, the zombies keep a coming. He picks three, uh, seeds for me. I have to deal with what his choices are. So he has chosen a, a sunflower. Um, he has chosen a, a jalapeno. And he has chosen some spike weed. So I gotta figure out a, a, an approach to, to handle this. I mean, look, you can do a lot of things here. Um, all of which are pretty good. So, so give me the twin sunflower, give me the three-peater. And we'll build something a little, a little wonky and strange with this. All of them are coming from, from straightforward space. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I, I really don't mind this. L let's... I mean, I could go really weird and go with the marigold and just, like, farm money. <laughs> It's probably the correct thing to do, but I'm I'm not gonna do it. Give me give me a squash, give me a regular pea shooter, and then give me some torchwood. And and let's get a little strange. You're gonna look at this and you're gonna go, Tyler, this is this is uh the most cursed setup of all time. Some of you are gonna be PvZ fiends, and I I wholeheartedly understand. Uh and and I respect it. Because it's a game that that is well suited to, to be a, a fiend in. There's a lot of uh, interesting little little concepts and min-maxing and ideas in Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, I respect, I mean, pretty much anybody who wants to, to become a fiend in this game. I used to love it growing up. I mean, this, this was really, this was towards the, I'll say the end of my childhood, which sounds very strange uh, to, to say it like that. But it was near the, the back end of my childhood when this game came out and was popular. Um, after that was was basically like the, the Minecraft era for me. When that became the only game that I, I desired playing. Slash the only game that I played. <laughs> it was not just a desire to play it. It was, it was quite literally the only game I played for many years. Um, I, I, I wish things would have gone differently for Plants vs. Zombies. I mean, obviously, like I said, it, it kind of became the the game that killed PopCap games uh, because of how great it was, right? They, they ended up coming out with some mobile sequels uh, to Plants vs. Zombies, which, to put it bluntly, they were, they were terrible. Um, and, and they were terrible because of the fact that they were basically built on a, on a foundation of greed. Uh, it was microtransactions that made levels impossible to complete without spending money um which is just i mean it's just an absolutely garbage um system you think i can get up to th 325 here faster than i could lay down this sunflower do another squash i mean i'm gonna try now nah, you know what i'm gonna lay down the sunflower i'm gonna put down a squash i think that that's a a little bit safer we need to get a point where we got two three peters down and i think that we just win uh, if we do that and then continuing to stack the sunflowers puts me into a, a relatively safe position so three peter here and now we're we're vibing dude now we're vibing 
Middle lane is, is taking a double hit, which is obviously fantastic. Um, makes life very easy. And then we just fill in um, extra space right now. You know, in a perfect world, you're going to put another three shooter in front of the three shooters that you have. Um, just to double up in every lane except the middle, which will be tripled slash quadrupled up. Um, and then you put in the, the torch woods and you, you let life go. And we, we go from there. We'll put another guy right here. We're prepared for the next twin flower as well. I should fill lanes with squash just in case, but... Bro, I'm just not really that concerned. I mean, this is this is level one of the game. Uh, it's it's supposed to be easy, and it is going to be pretty pretty dang easy in the long run. Now, I did I did see an article recently. I know I chatted about this a little in a previous episode. I saw an article recently that they're planning on another Plants vs Zombies game, um, potentially with a lot less paid progression um paid did i did i say step-based meta progression a little bit ago that's not not what i meant to say it's just ingrained in my head to despise it um but but paid progress paid plants paid content in the game um it's supposed to do that a lot less which would make the game a lot more fun um but it is supposed to only be mobile again and that's that's unfortunate because i do think that there's a place for games like this on pc um the PC gaming era is is now, brother. Like everybody, even even console gaming has has died down in recent years, and, and PC gaming is kind of taking over. I would love to see new Plants vs Zombies games that are not Garden Warfare um, on PC, just just because. I mean, this is such a good style for a game. There's been some other games that have tried to emulate this as well. Um, I'll be honest with you, none of them, none of them have been as good <laughs> as just the original Plants vs. Zombies. There was an Isaac version uh, that came out, that was a couple years ago at this point, called I Rule. Um, you can find that episode on, on my channel if you're, you're interested. But it was a Plants vs. Zombies uh, Binding of Isaac game. So the, the zombies were like Isaac enemies, um, and then the... The plants were Isaac items in, like, plant form. It was a really cool idea, and, and it was actually extremely well executed. It just didn't have a ton of concept, uh, content, because it was basically just a proof of concept for a game. But, uh, it was neat, and I, I think that they're still working on it today. Uh, so I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, if it goes anywhere, I mean, there's a chance that it, it just doesn't go anywhere in the long run. Um, and just becomes, it remains a proof of concept, and, and that's still fine, in my opinion. Um, the fact that people are still at least thinking about making a, a good new Plants vs. Zombies game, that, that excites me to at least a, a small degree. Get destroyed, my friend. Take the money and run. I'm out of here. Let's try to build something different on the next level. Just to to make some weird weird things happen. So you've given me a pea shooter. I mean, look, I, I need you. Um, maybe we go with like a, a catapult corn setup. And then you and then you go with a melon pulp. We still take the twin flower. Um but then let's let's go with a walnut. We're gonna we're gonna play this actually a little bit different. The idea behind my my setup is that we're going to, in the early game, play walnut spike weed. In order to get enough money to, uh, well enough sun to get down our sunflowers, and then we may just skip the the kernel pult era if possible. I I would like to. Uh, hello. I don't really like the I'm coming that <laughs> came out of the, the zombie on the bottom. But to each his own, I suppose. So let's get uh, let's get a spike weed down. I believe that one spike weed just about kills a normal zombie. Um, so if we put down a, a walnut, that should... Keyword should... Take care of business. Let's... This is gonna test my memory, uh, if, if this does in fact work. 
Yeah, I mean, it just about kills, but it, it does work. It's just a little jank, that's all. I mean, we, we can deal with a little jank, in my opinion. Now, we find ourselves in a little bit of a, a wonky spot here. Because, well, no, you'll, you'll recharge in time. Let, let's put this down. The other, the other solution is potentially that spike weed could just kill these guys. Like, if I go double spike weed, is this enough to just kill zombies? Because none of these guys are buff zombies. This is so plenty to kill you. I could just lay down spike weed and, and win. <laughs> Which makes this, makes it a little trivial. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um... But let's, let's do it, right? So, two spike weed takes out any zombie in existence. Accurate statement. I suppose we'll find out. Somebody gonna be in the comments, like, typing me up a, a damn paragraph right now. You could be like, Tyler, you're so friggin' stupid. The first levels you could beat with only a pea shooter and a this, that, the other. Yes. I'm, I'm sure you can. Give me, give me more sunflowers. Yeah, I know that you're going to, to find my, um my symmetry here to be quite alarming in the long run put this right here don't worry about this guy he's gonna be fine i i got zero concerns okay we're gonna put this down right here i'm gonna put another flower down here obviously this guy's still munching um we're gonna let him munch for a while i think these guys are fine they're, they're so fine. The Halepino is going to take a little bit to, to come back on this top row. I got to do something with, with the top over here, man. Set this up. Does that does that spike you? No, because he's already past that. Um, put, a, put, a, put a kernel here. Put you right there. That way the kernel takes out that guy. Um, we'll continue to build this accordingly as we go. We need the most sunflowers possible in order to fuel our our spike weed consumption. This is now this is now respectable. Well, it's it's kind of respectable. It's a little scummy. <laughs> but who isn't a little scummy, right? I think it's fine, right? I think it's completely fine. You're going to die. You're not going to die, bro. What the heck? Okay, now you're dead. How, how did you all of a sudden make it past my, my spike weeds? When all of your other friends uh, struggled to make it past? I think this is still okay, right? I think it's still okay. Three spike weeds is more than enough to, to kill zombies in this game. I can lay down pea shooters, but why, why would you? Why would you when you have such a... Such a beautiful strategy called uh, lay down spike weed. It does make the game a lot easier in the long run. Give me, give me a twin flower. Keep, keep that sweet double, double energy flowing. I mean, that guy just got obliterated on that row. I'll lay down another one here. In a perfect world, I'd like to regain symmetry. Um, I know that you're, you're just as angry at this as as me. We could also melon at this point. Like you're you're about to die. I can remove you and then we can start to lay down some some melons here. I mean four four lanes of spike weed, man. I find it hard to believe that this is not enough to just kill them. So I'm gonna lay down a watermelon here. We're we're now the the monetary value we're gaining is astronomical um and if we can get melons in these three spots then i i like our our symmetry and i like our our chances of success i'm pleased i'm pleased okay i'm very very happy give me give me a melon right here four spike weed again just just fantastic for these basic ass zombies <laughs> This strategy will not work um, if you give it like another another four minutes for me to get into another level. is is not gonna happen. It will uh, fall apart very very quickly when we get some some bucket hats and, and things like that. But I don't care to be honest with you. I I like uh, I like cheesing the game 
in different weird scenarios. I like the idea. I mean, a lot of people play Plants vs. Zombies, obviously, for for the most optimized, most broken, super OP path that you can take to success. You'll find this hard to believe, but the guy who, who actively takes uh, soy milk on the first floor of Isaac runs, I, I really like trying to find weird new ways to play uh, Plants vs. Zombies and just create some, some really wonky, really stupid uh, approaches. And I don't think that this is all that stupid and wonky. Um, in fact, I have a feeling that a lot of people are probably going to go, Tyler, this is the most optimal way to do the first couple levels because the spike weed is so cheap um, and so effective that just kind of just kind of takes care of business. Um, but I, I like it, you know? It's, it's something that I, I don't think I've ever done before. So it makes me... Makes me happy. I mean, we're, we're killing most zombies before they even make it to the spike weed with the melons. You're probably going to tell me that the melons are, are definitely not optimal. I think as a child, I, I quickly understood that the kernels were the best available of, of the catapulting plants. Because the slowness that you gain from, uh, from the one is, is just, from, from kernel is just absolutely overpowered in its nature. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, you may go, Tyler, the melon is significantly better. What do I know, right? Is this a, a new plant inside of my... A plant for my Zen garden? Well, now I'm... Now I'm friggin' amped, honestly. I should go plant that plant immediately. Well, you're gonna put me into another level. Okay, bucket. Uh, big c conehead. Conehead Larrys. We're happy to see you. You've given me the three, Peter, which, which is solid. Um... What if, what if we go cactus? <laughs> it's just, it's just stupid, too. Um, Colonel, Colonel, three Peter. I mean, we could also go with like a, a coffee bean. And then rock one of these guys, which I'm, I'm sure is effective in some way. Um... I got a magnet on the next level when they put in the put in the other guys gets gets kind of kind of intriguing. How do I make this weird? Give me give me a marigold. Give me the twin flower. Um, I do think this is just enough to win, but maybe maybe we we go for we go for the three Peter play, um, but we build it around having marigolds as well and then we just use the potato mines and the the walnuts as deterrence kind of in the early game to get three peter set up this will be very similar to our first round but we're we're going all in on on trying to get marigolds to work so i'm gonna do two two rows of sunflowers too um i know that we're running we're running the twin flower but the three Peters are so expensive um, that I think I think this is completely okay. Now I played the Marigold, and I I know that a lot of people are going to be like Tyler. That's way too early for a Marigold. You you need not be concerned, okay? My goal is to make make mad cash, mad money, and I I think that we got uh, mad money and no problems on this one. Because that Marigold's going to do great things for me. I'm going to put down another Potato Mine right here. Just so that we can continue to, to make some progress happen on these, these zombies that are occurring. And I think that this is a, a completely fine start. It's a little little spicy for sure. I mean, we're, we're playing with fire. By not putting in any offensive firepower. <laughs> whatsoever. Um... We probably, we probably, if I was intelligent, I would try to get to 325 and get in a pea shooter just to, just to really ensure that we're going to be okay. Now give me a quick 50. Beautiful. Put in a walnut. I think you just win now. I know that this sounds, it sounds crazy, but I, I do think that this is, this is game winning energy right here. Because I, I believe, I have faith. This pea shooter is going to handle. Okay, that top row is a little scary. This pea shooter is going to handle this bottom row for for really the foreseeable future. 
We, we may go with some temporary uh, firepower on top row. No, nah, probably not, to be honest with you. Thank you for another plant. Um, I'm going to put down a potato mine. I'm going to put down a, a walnut. And then we're going to put down this. Now you, you probably feel pretty confident uh, about our chances. I say you as in, like, not not you personally. I ain't speaking to you. I'm talking the the metaphysical you from the beyond. We feel good in the metaphysical beyond. We need more pea shooters. Um, actually, I'm kind of terrified of this this guy on the bottom. In fact, I I am now a little terrified of that guy on the bottom. It's it's not a concern. We're we're okay. The biggest issue we have is that by placing the marigolds where we have them, um, we have too much too far up, um, and it's it's making it a little bit more difficult. But as you can see, I, I think that you know the three shooters here kind of resolves a lot of our problems. Well, it resolves some of our problems. This will resolve most of our problems now. Because now, now you got triple shots on most, um, double shots on others. I won't talk about any other shots that, that have the potential to fire here. We're, we're good, right? You do have a huge wave of zombies approaching. Um, it's a perfect time for, for five shooters to come in. And I think that, believe it or not, you may go for, for something a little wonky here. Um, I know that the Marigolds are lined up in a nice row. This looks very symmetrical, except for this potato mine that's kind of just, just vibing in no man's land. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove two of our sunflowers. One. Give me all this. I'm going to wait for these two to fire again, and then we're going to put them back in. Okay. Beautiful. You're gone. We put in a pea shooter. And then you're going to be gone shortly, and we're going to put in a pea shooter. And that way we, we gain a little bit more space, uh, a, a little bit more shooties on these rows. The more of these double shooters you have, the, the more firepower we have. I mean, the, the squad's fine. The squad is actually great. We got plenty of money. Money is in uh, sun, but we also have plenty of money as in our marigolds are, are producing. I feel comfortable taking out uh, both of these in order to place more marigolds. I'm farming, brother. Literally farming. Um, farming hot, sweet, dope cash, but also farming um, some, some sick money with these marigolds. It ain't much, right? I mean, each one of these is, is 10 cents. <laughs> Which is uh, it's ten dollars, I guess. But when we're talking on scales of needing like twenty thousand dollars, this is a little, it's a little low. Um, let's remove you. We'll put in another one of these. Obviously, we're we're weakest on the the top and bottom row. But there's nothing scary enough on this one for me to feel like we we have any ounce of concern. And then what you can do, I mean, let's let's buff. The top and bottom row with a, a snow pea and that way we're we're at least managing a little bit of an extra benefit on those top and bottom rows with the slowness this is this is an easy win uh he says playing uh, the third level of plants versus zombies <laughs> there's not really much that's gonna take me down on this one it's just a uh, a nice well well oiled machine which is a phrase that I if we're lucky I'll never say ever again all right what you got bucket heads no bucket heads okay you giving me garlic garlic diverts our zombies into other lanes okay let's get weird right I'm gonna go with with double P Gatling P with a torch and then I'm going to go tall nut and the idea here uh, is we're going to garlic to divert into one lane that is buffed to an oblivion, and we're just going to mow them down. Okay? I do think that this can work. Um, I think it's a little little peculiar, to say the least. Not, not what the normal average Joe would do playing Plants vs. Zombies. And that's why we send it. 
Okay, that's why we send it. Give me you. Coming. We're coming. I, we, we know, okay? We, we are well aware. I would like to divert you into that lane. Beautiful. Because we're going to line up these guys in this lane. So, you're going to go just like that. Now, I know you're looking at this going, Tyler. You, you got you got major flaws in your system already. I hear you loud and clear, okay? We we do have major flaws in the system right now. The the issue is that we we really don't have a solid way to kill any of these guys. What we need is a tall nut right here in in this lane. Well, what we really need is to get some some shooters in like ASAP. I I think you need to invest in a tall nut. I'm getting I'm getting a little getting a little terrified of this one. That tall nut is a temporary investment. You just got to get your money up, okay? But the next the next purchase is going to be a repeater on this this lane. I will I will patiently wait for for another 25 Son, we need to get a double shooter in. Okay, double shooter right here. That should kill him, but we should not have issues here. Okay, great work, gamers, great work. You're going to get diverted into second and fourth lane, however you want to be diverted. Okay, this is good, this is good. Twin flower, this, you're taking an eating, also known as a beating, but it's, it's... He's eating, so you understand the joke. I don't need to explain it. Um, and then you put in a repeater. Okay, you now have the juice required to to make matters happen. What we we really desperately need is probably a jalapeno on this lane. But everything should flow now the way we need it to. The, uh, give me give me the jalapeno here. And then now things things pop off, okay? Things pop off. Eventually these garlics are going to lose too. Um, so while we can get the garlics in, they recharge fast. Okay, I'm not concerned. Get rid of you, put in you. We want two, two repeaters, and then we want to make them both gatling. So we will have eight shots in, in these two lanes, mowing down anything that comes by. Smart play? Maybe. Possibly stupid, but when when Crazy Dave hands you a garlic, I make that garlic work. I'm, I'm on friggin' Chopped, brother. You gave me garlic in the damn basket, I'm pulling out a, a dish you ain't ever seen before. And the judges are gonna go, wow, this is peculiar. I really like the texture you provided with that garlic. Yeah, I watch the Food Network. What's it to ya? Okay, this is lit on this row. The Gatling P is, he's just too good. He is way too damn good. He also takes a hundred years to, <laughs> to get back into business. But that's fine. We'll, we'll let him, we'll let him chill. We, we really need to make this speed up. That's, that's the, the circumstance we're in. So please, uh, get, get diverted. And then enter, enter the flame zone. Okay. Enter the damn flame zone. This is surprisingly effective, um, which I'm kind of surprised by. <laughs> I think as a young child, I did not uh, ever use the garlic. I found it to be completely worthless. And I think as a as a adult child, um, I'm realizing that the the garlic is secretly overpowered and and really really strong. Okay, take out you. We're putting in another repeater. Take out. Thanks for the diamonde. One thousand buckaroos. Appreciate ya. Sounded like I was thanking a sub in chat. Great time to hit the uh, join membership button on YouTube, if you want to financially support the channel in any way. You gain, uh, I really just the ability to watch stream vods on YouTube um, after they're posted, instead of waiting for the videos to go live. Or you can just go over to Twitch and see them for free, but, you know, who am I to tell you what to do? Okay. Give me this, give me this, Gatling me. It's, it's nonsensical how good it is. I should have brought in the Marigolds, man. Can you imagine we could fill this entire 
little, little lane with marigolds right now. This is actually like more overpowered than our previous one. It's it's nonsensical how good it is. Some of the garlics are, are taking a little bit of uh, an eating, but what do I care? That's right, I just plucked out a damn twin flower. Are you you don't like that? You don't like me getting the, getting that twin flower out of there? So sorry for your your loss in your brain. But look, take a look at this. Dude, as soon as they even remotely enter the lane, they get mowed down. <laughs> this is really good. This is absolutely really good. All right, um, we, we take the money. We'll do the one final challenge level here. We're going bowling. Take this walnut. Bowl me a winner. It's always fun to do a little, a little walnut bowling just for, for kicks and giggles, right? Great shot. It wasn't that great of a shot. Great shot. Oh, the double kill. Okay, keep keep the explodo nut, which I'm not gonna say a damn word about. Hey baby, you wanna come over later and uh, I'll show you my explodo nut? Just kidding, I, I said something. That explodo nut, we, we can do some, some banger things. <laughs> we can bang that explodo nut for sure. Just just let the time come. Great shot. Just let the time come. Great shot. Great shot. It's so much money. So much money. Um, I think I'm gearing up for an explodo nut. Let her rip. Great shot. Now, we get money bonus by, by comboing a lot of these together. Right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna let my nut build up a little. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm so I'm seven years old, and then uh, how did that nut hit you? All right, fine. I'll send out some nuts on the bottom. This guy in the middle though, he he's got a lot of potential. A javelin. Okay, may, maybe I don't really like this guy in the middle. Javelin boy's doing his thing. You know what? We farmed a little bit off of you. I would like to send this this boy right here. Gray shot. I mean, just just that's how you do it right there. Now we're starting to get the swarm coming in, the zombified swarm. When the swarm comes, you you farm the the cash. Look at this. Great place. Hello, sir. You've lost your newspaper and now you are unhappy. Me whenever I read my comment section. Okay, explode me. Explode me. Put me on nice, fresh, solid ground. Just kidding. Explode me. Because you all suck too. There's so many Explodo nuts right now. Um, I mean, it's a great time for them, really, with a, a huge wave of zombies. But part of me is like, uh, if I'm trying to farm, farm some hot, sweet cash, do I really want the... The Explodo Nuts? And the answer is, of course I do, because despite it being uh, kind of cheap and a little lame to uh, to use the Explodo Nuts because it just insta-kills, God, is it fun to watch them all just completely implode. Uh, so I'm I'm pleased enough with it. Look at the money. We're actually... The, the level of farming got a little relatively higher on this one. Am I also looking at this going, uh, Tyler, you got some zombies swarming you, it's a little scary. I don't think it, I don't think it's that scary. Like, I, I think we're still fine. I would have liked it if those, those hit just like a little bit better. I'm not concerned. I, I'm not concerned. We're gonna be fine. I, I am very impressed that those managed to hit nobody right there. Don't, don't let this guy get in. Don't let him get in. He, he's out of here. He's out of here. There's a lot of zombies, man. That's part of the game, though. The game's called Plants vs. Zombies. If there weren't a lot of zombies, then it would just be called Plants, and that is not gonna sell well. Although I do think there's a board game called, called Planted that has relatively high reviews and sold very well. So, although I don't know, the board game community and the Plants vs. Zombies community, um, slash the children's video game community, possibly very different in terms of what they enjoy. Alright, I can't help but notice that this, uh, we, we gotta just boom ya. We gotta just boom ya. Okay, Walnut, huge. Look at the cash, huge. 
One more? Ah, it's just a horrible, horrible nut. Horrid, horrid nut. Okay. Bucket hat gotta go. Huge hit. Look, look, oh baby, a triple. You know what? Let him go over it. That's what you call strategic, uh... Bro, we're gonna lose. <laughs> I would say it is strategic uh, placement of, of my nut. We're still fine, okay? Things are still fine. You're gonna have to explode on that. Bro, where's the explode on that? I shouldn't have placed that. Yeah, he's gonna hit the lawnmower. Honestly, not my finest. Not my finest. We we could have we could escape this without the the use of that. I I just suck. I got, I got lulled into a false sense of security. You know what? That, that happens to the best of us. That's a ton of cash. Okay. All those explodo nuts we had at the beginning, brother. Gone by the wayside. Okay, we need to go with a, a quick... Quick ooh baby a double. Ooh baby a double. Ooh baby a triple. This strategy that I'm about to employ is, is seen as cowardice in many communities. I'm gonna let him come. I'm gonna let him come. Um, and, and the reasoning is... Why wouldn't I? <laughs> is, is that cowardly? Is that cowardly to just say goodbye to the game and, uh... And just let the... Let those take care of business? Potentially cowardice. I'll leave these two. I mean, we lose a little bit of money by doing that, I suppose. Which in the end is, uh... I mean, it's the whole point of the, the game, right? Making the cash. Come on, Grandpa. Get in here. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. Give me give me the, the couple money. I mean, look, you lose out on some. I, I'm not losing sleep over it, okay? I'm not losing sleep. I, I got good rest last night. Um, hey, let's let's check out our Zen garden here. Uh, we got some some plant fertilizer that we can fertilize the, these two plants, ensure that they are uh, doing what what needs to get done. And then I can, uh, of course, I mean that's selling a plant. I could come in here. I could buy some plants. The the golden watering can lets you water several plants at once. Seems like a total waste. I mean, I'm really struggling with buying pretty much any of this. Um, I'll buy some fertilizer. How is everything ready to be watered again? How much water you friggin' need? Okay. If I if I just like fer, they they need so much water, man. How much fertilizer you need too? Holy, you're crazy. I probably should just like buy this stuff. It's stinky the snail. An insane aquarium reference. Okay. Um, pool cleaners. Why well, do you choose nine slots per... Paid meta progression in my plants versus zombies? Who knew? They were cooked from the beginning. I mean, dude, there, there are some. I forgot about some of these bangers. So weird to have these tied behind the money in game when the money in game is like kind of trash. Ah, oh, dude, what the frick? You don't even put the fertilizer on them until they ask for it. Alright. Um, this simulator is not worth me playing. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Plants vs. Zombies. Fun game. Um, wish that in the future, eventually, they do something, uh, to bring back the vibes that this game has. Uh, I'm not sure it'll ever happen. But I, uh, I patiently await it. Nonetheless, Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Alexa Looks Back. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.